everybody thanks for joining me so today's uh, sketch is this right here go ahead and pause if you want to get the measurements um, and anywhere where there isn't a mat if you want to add a mat just go an eighth of an inch bigger and you'll basically be doing exactly what I am so I'm still doing the Georgia blues I'm digging them right now um, I, I do that I don't know if it happens for other people but I get like kind of stuck on something and I just got to keep using it. So instead of having a mat for our base paper, I decided to use the card base as my mat. So the paper itself is cut to four and an eighth by five and three eighths, which would be our normal mat size. So you get a little bit more pattern paper and um, the card base itself works as the mat for it. Uh, once again, using the ATG tape and the art glitter glue, so give me some wiggle room, so that way as I put this down, if I need to move stuff around to make sure I get it all nice and even, I have that time. And then I'm just going to press down, making sure it's nice and secure. And then for our centerpiece, they actually already figured out the mat size, so... Um, I follow the directions that were on the actual sketch but if you're a person if you ever get a sketch and it has like a quarter of an inch border I'll um, lessen it to an eighth of an inch I just know once I know what the size is for the main paper I just go up an eighth of a size bigger and that's gonna be my mat um, only because I really like the smaller mats than such a big to me the quarter inch is it, it's a really big mat and I don't like the way that looks so now we're going to go ahead and attach this and I'm adding the ATG tape with the um, art glitter glue again and this time like in the in the picture we're going to actually kind of tilt this on the angle and whenever I'm working on a sketch I always leave it up on my computer screen so that way while I'm doing the recording for you guys I'm actually kind of looking over <laughs> and I can see to remind myself what it is I'm working on. Now prior to um, starting to record, I did cut the um, strips. The white piece here that I have is actually um, under the metallics that I showed you in, I think it was a couple of videos ago. Um, it's just a uh, ivory color and I decided that I wanted to give it a little bit of a lift. So I'm taking some fun foam, putting some AD ATG tape on the back and I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of the art glitter glue. And I'm going to attach that side to the strip of paper. Because on the back side of my fun foam, I do get the one that has the adhesive on it. And then on this one, I'm going to take a thin foam tape. That's from Doris. And I'm going to put it towards the top of my sentiment. And then I'm going to put ATG tape down at the bottom. Because since there are kind of like layered with each other that spot where I'm putting the ATG, ATG, ATG tape will sit on top of the um, metallic paper so I'm gonna just add a little bit of glue to help that adhesive, adhesive make sure it stays strong and I'm using my grid mat to line up and make sure everything is laying straight and um, I do have the Ranger or the Tonic. I know it's the Tim Holtz glass mat. That's what I'm using. It was a Christmas gift, so I have been loving it. And then um, I line up the Happy Birthday and make sure that the part with the ATG is touching on the uh, white metallic paper. Now, of course, you can leave these plain you can add sequins um, I'm always loving you know using the nouveau drops now when I do this one I didn't follow my own rule which is always always practice first you want to have a piece of scrap paper to practice your your enamel dots because you never know if it's been sitting if it gets a little air bubble and you don't want to wind up causing yourself you know heartache because like that top one it's just shaped just a little weird but at the end of the day I was just like I'm gonna leave it because 
they're not always perfect and pretty. If you ever have one that is just totally messed up and you've already, you know, gone to project with it, let it dry some, then take like a, a flat, um, either, uh, what's the word? Pallet knife, something that's thin enough that could get underneath of it and lift it up off the project and then just put down another one. That's what I would do. Um, but of course, I'm making a video, so I left it in and it is what it is. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining me. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share button. And um, at the end, I will have links to previous sketch videos. And I will see you guys with our next video, which would be this Sunday. Thanks, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.